String theory and quantum mechanics tell us that in addition to our universe, there exists an infinite number of universes outside of our own and an indefinite number of dimensions beyond our human perception. Sometimes the strings are crossed and people and things may cross between these dimensions and something or someone may travel across. These are five travelers from other dimensions. Let's begin. Number five, the green children of Woolpit. In the 12th century AD, two children were found in a wolf pit near the village of Woolpit. The brother and sister had green skin and refused to eat anything but raw beans. The pair spoke a language that was unfamiliar to the villagers and wore strange clothing. The children eventually adjusted to the lives and diet of the village and lost their green complexion. The brother died after the two children were baptized, but the girl continued to live in the village. When the girl learned English, she would later explain that the two had come from a place called St. Martin's Land, where there was no sunlight and everything was green. The brother and sister had been tending their father's herd when, after a loud noise, they found themselves in the wolf pit. Could these two have been visitors from another dimension who found themselves trapped in ours? Number 4. Shadow People Shadow people are the dark, humanoid figures you see in your peripheral vision or in your room at night as you fade in and out of sleep. While descriptions of shadow people go a long way back, historically known as shades, spirits, old hags, and nightmares, in recent decades the description of the shadow person has become more modern. Shadow people are suggested by some to actually be the literal shadows of beings we cannot see because they exist outside of the third dimension. These beings are said to, like demons, feed on the negative emotions of humans. Number 3. Preston Nichols Preston Nichols is the author of The Montauk Project, his telling of alleged top-secret U.S. research into extra-dimensional travel, psionic abilities, teleportation, and time travel carried out from the Montauk Air Force Base in Long Island, New York. Nichols claimed that the U.S. government had created a time tunnel in Montauk, which was used to travel through time and between dimensions. Nichols claims that through his career, he visited World War II, the Civil War, and alien worlds in other dimensions. He also claims to have spoken with Jesus Christ and aliens through the use of the time tunnel. Nichols also claims that in the course of his work, the USS Eldridge was transported to Montauk on August 12, 1983. Number 2. Reptilians while many people are familiar with the idea of reptilians, the humanoid lizard people that allegedly adopt human personas and control the world, they may not be familiar with the origin of the green-skinned fascists. The contemporary idea of the reptilian can be attributed to David Icke, a British sports broadcaster turned alternative historian. Ike claims that humans are the product of genetic engineering by reptilians, an extraterrestrial, extra-dimensional species of beings who come from the fourth dimension. According to Ike, reptilians and their descendants are synonymous with the Illuminati and the architects of the New World Order, and have been steering human history towards this goal since before man even existed. Number 1. Duncan and Edward Cameron Duncan and Edward Cameron were two alleged survivors of the Philadelphia Experiment. The Philadelphia Experiment, conducted in 1943, is believed to have been a U.S. Navy test into invisibility technology for ships. Duncan Cameron was stationed on the USS Eldridge at the time of the experiment. The ship disappeared for 15 minutes during the first experiment, but all of the crew except the Camerons had become deranged. The second test failed, and the two brothers attempted to escape the ship by jumping overboard, causing them to become trapped in an interdimensional tunnel. They landed at the Montauk base in 1983. They were instructed to return to 1943 in order to stop the Philadelphia Project from happening. After ending the experiment in 1943, Duncan returned to 1983 where he died, and Edward Cameron stayed in 1943 where his memories were erased and he was given the identity Al Bilek. And there, you have five mysterious travelers from other dimensions. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and share it, and if you haven't already, subscribe down below to get notified almost every single day with new videos from Top 5's Finest. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, we are out.